Well, today is the day. Spring's here. Snow is gone. Maybe. Might come back tomorrow. But today is the day that we're going to grab all of our stuff out of storage, get it back home, do our uh, annual maintenance on everything, and uh, hopefully get ready to uh, have a good 2022 season. We got a lot of work. Let's get into it. All right, so what's the next step? Um, the big, long, flat piece with all that stuff on top of it. Some would call it, so I, I think my trailer is under that. And we're going to have to uh, swim through, dig through the, the stuff to find the trailer. Um, you sure you don't want to unload it before we take it out of the garage? I don't know where all that stuff's gonna go if we don't have room with the trailer there. Kind of thinking, uh, kind of thinking we need to pull the trailer out to free up space. It's gonna look like a parade float. <laughs> it might. Uh, this uh, this is gonna get fun. disconnected the uh, battery in the dump truck so we got to go reconnect that um, before we left we made sure there were no mice in the engine compartment in the air duct so let's make sure that that hasn't changed it's the amount of mothballs we had in there yeah oh yeah, man it's, uh, dumpy bean is beef smelling like that for a while it's, in, it's everything you can do so let's get the uh, battery connected and uh, see what the next problem's gonna be. Oh, geez. So, part of my US DOT pre-trip inspection, <laughs> uh, there is a puddle underneath it, and not too worried about it. Uh, do do wanna check the fluids before, you know, I start her up for the first time. Um, so yeah, it, it looks like, you know, we got a small rear main seal leak. Probably not going to do much about it. Uh, when it's at home, it parks on, on the rocks and I sort of keep an eye on, on fluid leaks and stuff. And it's never been that bad. Um, and, and then for, you know, being a 2008 with about 85,000 miles on it, <clears throat> which is pretty low for a, a 6.0. Um, you know, a, a little bit of leak. I mean, hey, we all get old. <laughs> we all <laughs> leak. We all leak a little <laughs> bit, so I, it's not a big deal, but it is, uh, it's something 
worth uh, checking. And if I remember, this thing is about a 10 footer. That actually ain't that bad. Actually, the one color doesn't look bad. Um, if anything, it was a little over full, maybe. So, wipe it, push her back, thread the needle. again and yes yeah, she's all a full is it possibly it's a, as another fluid leaking no it was oil okay. so i mean every, you always have the uh the the fill or the add and fill and then you'll have generally have cross hatching in there and we are above you know the top hole or the top cross hatch it, this dipstick doesn't actually call out, uh, you know, fill between the add and fill, but fluid looked good. That's your engine oil. This is an automatic transmission, and with an automatic, uh, all right. Thread the needle first. With an automatic transmission, you always check that with the engine running, right? So, uh, not even gonna pull it. Not gonna, not gonna worry about it. And bring the truck out. Pull the truck out. Let it uh, warm up a little bit. Then we'll check the automatic uh, transmission fluid with the engine running. Other than that, um, the wires. No sign of rodents, which is good. Uh, a little bit of leaking underneath it. It look, kind of looks like it's coming from the rear main seal. Not, I don't know, nothing that I'm going to do a showstopper with. Uh, oil was good. Coolant is good. Let's cross her fingers and hope she fires. chipping away at this. Oh, we're getting stumpy off. In preparation for a uh, empty trailer. So, this is one of those things, do what I say, don't do as I do. Um, I have no rear ballast and my tires are spinning, so I need to put it in a uh, 4x4 mode to get away from the truck. What's going on? So here's the next issue that we're going to fix uh, this, this coming year. Um, this side went in fine. This side, it's, you get it kind of close, but it, it, it just isn't gonna go. Why did that? How did that change? Uh, pressure inside the hydraulic rams move or whatever, and and it all goes back to you know this uh, ball, and I can't push the ball in to get it into the uh, the socket. I, I don't. Uh, A won't connect to B uh, because there's pressure buildup, and and I fight that all the time. But uh, later on this uh, summer, we're gonna change these guys out from, uh, I don't know, John Deere egg couplers to uh, uh, a no pressure coupler, something like that. We're gonna get to it. So I just I just did the other one, uh, forgot to ask to film it, but uh, th this is how I do it. Um, you know, there, there's 
I think you can buy a tool that will release the pressure and all that. Uh, I've seen people hit it with a hammer. Uh, what I do is I just put it up against the, the tire and then I get hydraulic fluid squirted at me. So then I can come back and plug it in. Uh, well, look at this. Dumpy's out. Stumpy's out. Yet to come up with a good nickname for the tractor yet. Maybe if you guys can comment on our video, you can give us some good ideas. No greeny, no Johnny. I mean, have it something like original. Trailer, all cleared off. Hey, we found a brush hog in the midst of all that. And look at the TR3's uh, peeking out too. So, got everything uh, taken out of the garage. Minimal damage. We got a one minute bathroom break and then we got to start on our first job of the year already. No rest for the wicked. Well, folks, we uh, we got everything undiscombobulated, put back together. We got the uh, stump grinder on it, and part of our payment to store equipment over the winter is to go knock out a couple of uh, highly rotten stumps. So, without further ado, let's do our first job of the year. Woo woo! <laughs> like, share, and subscribe, guys. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Don't do drugs. <laughs>